Hello folks, this is Super Chicken at the Delta Blues Museum, sitting in all this history, and when I come here, it's like, take me back to my childhood days, and I mean, and I have so many people in here that I know, and so many people that I could talk about, and uh, today we're gonna talk about Mr. Honey Boy Edwards. I played with Mr. Honey Boy several times during the years, and uh, he's quite an interesting guy, and he know a lot of history himself. He knows all about Robert Johnson, so I was playing with him one day and I noticed whenever the music got good to him, his, his right leg would always come up. Every time he started playing, his leg would come up. <laughs> I asked him, I said, Mr. Honey Boy, he said, uh, I said, why do you raise your leg up when you're playing? He said, I'm gonna answer your questions and I'm gonna tell you a little story too. He said, you ever seen the dog pee? I said, yeah. He said, why do you think he cock his leg up when he get ready to pee? I said, I don't know, that's why he did it. He said, put his rear end in park so he don't roll back. <laughs> but anyway, we got to talking about Robert Johnson. And uh, my grandpa, Ellis Johnson, was first cousin to Robert Johnson. And they played together back in the 20s down around here to be in the Greenwood and different places like that. And um, I asked uh, Honey Boy if he knew Ellis Johnson. He said, no. He said, most of people back then had nicknames except Robert. He said, what was his nickname? I said, they called him Pick Handle Slim. Pick Handle Slim? Yeah, I, boy, I'm scared of you. Who, what you know about Pick Handle Slim? I said, that's my granddad. He said, well, I'm scared of you. He said, that was a mean old man. He said, he kill you just to look at you. He said, he cut folks up just like they wasn't nothing. He was supposed to carry on for Robert. And uh, the way Robert went out scared him, and so he didn't continue. And I think I was the chosen one because he talked about Robert every day. I went fishing with him. I, the reason I don't like fishing now because he took me fishing and all his tall weeds and bugs and snakes. And he'd sling a fish out of the water so hard he'd get hung in the tree. And tell me to get up there and get his fish, untangle his line. I better not let the fish get away and I better not break his line. Though he was going to beat me up. So I don't like fishing today because of that. And so, and that's why I picked Mr. Honey Boy, because he knew a bit of history. He knew my grandpa, he knew Robert Johnson, and he knew a whole lot of other stuff too. And once again, Super Chicken at the Delta Blues Museum. I could go on and on talking now, telling you these stories, but we don't want to take up too much of your time, because we want to save some of this for you when you come down to the Delta Blues Museum and get your own stories. But if you ever need Super Chicken to come and tell you some of these stories, I even know who taught Robert Johnson how to play the guitar. And he did not, well, I better not go there because people don't like for me to say that. <laughs> Somebody shoot that thing. Thank you very much. Come on down to the Delta Blues Museum. We have a lot of fun down here and we got a lot of history. We got all your favorite people back here and all the stories you need to know about them. And again, I am Super Chicken. Your walking history book. Thank you very much.